the Nintendo 3DS dock, like the one I have here, is an easy way to both charge and store your 3DS console. However, like the console itself, it uses a proprietary charging port, meaning you need a specific charger or cable to be able to charge the console. Following on from the USB Type-C board for the Wii U dock, we were contacted regarding the possibility of doing something very similar for the Nintendo 3DS. And having gone through a few prototypes, I'm pleased to say what I have here is a USB Type-C board that will fit in your Nintendo 3DS dock. It does require a bit of trim into the dock due to the larger size of the connector, but it's as close as you'll get to a drop-in replacement. And following some discussion with the reader of our blog that got in touch with us about this, they were able to confirm that this same original PCB is used in the 3DS dock, the new 3DS dock and the docks for both XL variants. The board design files are available on GitHub, which I'll link to in the description. I'll be going over the process of installing this board into an original 3DS dock. Just bear in mind that the docks for the other versions of the 3DS console will look slightly different, and you may need to trim additional parts of the dock to get the board to fit. There are six screws on the underside of the dock that need to be removed. To do this, you'll need a tri-wing screwdriver. Once the screws are removed, you'll want to carefully separate the two halves of the dock. You'll need to be careful here as there are a couple of springs inside the dock, which will come loose when the dock is opened. It's okay if they fall out of position, but just take care not to lose them. It should be easy to lift up the PCB to gain access to the solder pads on the other side. Desolder the two wires to remove this board completely. Here's a quick side by side comparison of the boards, and you can clearly see the USB Type C port is wider than the original, which is why we'll need to trim the dock later on. And the new board has the solder pads on the top side to make installation a little bit easier. The new board can then be fitted into the dock. It should be a very tight fit, which makes sure it will stay in place securely. There are two pads on the new board, which are labelled switch. These pads allow you to install an external switch into the dock, which might be useful if you don't want your dock to be constantly powered. I won't be fitting a switch to this dock, so those two pads need to be bridged. There's also a version of the board available with these pads omitted. The two wires also need to be soldered to the board. Holding the two halves of the dock together, you can see the plastic piece which needs to be trimmed to fit around the new port. Using a round file would probably give the best results, but you can also use sandpaper or a craft knife to cut away at the excess plastic. Here's the result of all of that trimming and sanding. Not the neatest, but if I was doing it a second time, I could certainly make it a lot neater, now having a better idea of exactly where it needs to be trimmed. Plastic also needs removing on the inside, and you can see the result of that here. The area around the screw hole proved to be particularly problematic, so make sure you take enough off this area. Once you're happy with the fit, all you need to do is put the dock back together and reinsert the screws. Don't forget to put the springs back in place, and if you're using the same dock I have here, you can rewind the video to double check how they were originally positioned. All that's left now is to plug the USB Type-C cable in and start charging your console. The result here isn't the neatest, I could certainly have done a better job with the sanding and trimming, but it's a relatively easy way to get USB Type-C charging for your Nintendo 3DS without having to modify the console itself. Remember if you want to make one of these for yourself, there'll be a link in the description to where you can find the PCB files. 
I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to stick around for the next one.